the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams, and this is another one of our 24-7 news report videos. Uh, as always, we start with the headline news, and the headline news today um, is an ongoing saga that started this morning um, and has carried on going. Um, and it's regarding one man, and that is Neil Muipai. Um, it's been a saga throughout the day. He's had his medical and stuff. By the time of record, by the time this video goes out, by the time of recording, there's not much said about it, um, other than the fact that he has undergone his medical and will sign a three-year contract with an option for further for a further year. That's come from Di Marzio. Um, it's also a rumour that it's around fourteen million. He was going to go to Fulham last night, but Frank Lampard made one of these now legendary Frank Lampard phone calls and has managed to look like convince him. So Gianluca Di Marzio from Sky Sports, international reporter, has said that it's now a three year deal. The rumour is fourteen million. By the time you're watching this, it might already have been announced by the club. So if you're watching this going to what's happened. I recorded it before that video might be out if we do announce it. There were rumours as well if we got it done, the deal done, not him announced, but if we got the deal done by 12 o'clock of today, which is Friday, then he'd be able to play. Don't know if we've managed to do that. I honestly couldn't see him starting anyway. I'd probably a bench appearance, um, so don't get too excited. I think Rondon will play tomorrow. Uh, my thoughts on it, I'll give them very brief because there'll be a video out when it's announced um, or if it's already been announced, you'll have seen that and you can go check that out. Realistically, and we've got to be realistic, there, were, there aren't many big, big options available. I think he should score a lot more than he does. He misses a lot of good chances, but it's Everton. You name me somebody else we could have gone and got. He's, he's better than Garassi, I think. Um, che Adams isn't coming. The, the ground's thin. Brozier, I'm not fully convinced on on like if we're buying Brozier permanently, you could say age is on his side, but on loan, I don't think he's that Brozier's that much more levels above him if it's a loan deal for a season. So yeah, that, it's just one of them. You can check out the video though. Like I said, I go into more about his XG his stats and stuff like that. Uh, moving on though, I have already mentioned Brozier. Chelsea are continuing talks over a move for Everton's Anthony Gordon. Everton could be inclined to accept the low, uh, a deal of around £60 million, but have asked for loan deals for either Conor Gallagher or Armando Brozier to be included in the deal. That's come from Nizar Kinsella, who is a Chelsea FC and England reporter for the Standard. Um, the Standard Sports, sorry. Yeah, so like I said, Brozier. I mean, Brozier on loan now wouldn't really make much sense if we've already got a striker. I mean, we could do with a few more forwards. We could do with Barrett and Diaz. Um, but I mean, Conor Gallagher or Brozier, both would be handy in the squad. Um, Gallagher, I think a lot of our fans would like, but Brozier, I, I'd turn up that Brozier would still be helpful in this, even with a striker, because we need lots of depth. Um, I don't know if Everton are going to get that. I, I think we're passionate too much. Also, um, me, uh, me and Paul spoke the other day um, on a video and we and we mentioned that now the time has gone too far where if we sold Gordon, we won't have time to reinvest that £60 million. So, loan to Brozier would probably help fill a gap there because I don't think we're um, going to have a lot of time left to spend Gordon money. Uh, speaking of which, Nizar Kinsella does also say Everton are working on a replacement for Anthony Gordon and are interested in Bournemouth winger Jadon Anthony. Nottingham Forest are said to be interested. Of course they are. The 22-year-old has one year left on his contract. Renewal talk is ongoing. So maybe we're looking at thinking we might be able to get him a little bit cheap if he's got um, the last year of his contract to do. Um, so hopefully we're thinking of that. I mean, it says we're interested. Uh, we need to be a little bit more than interested. We need to start making moves for players if we're going to sell Gordon. Um, otherwise, we are just going to be absolutely bull, uh, you know, backs against the wall, scattergunning this money. And what's the point in selling him if you're not going to spend it properly? Um, that's my only concern there, uh, is that the longer we leave it, the more likely we're going to put ourselves in a really, really bad situation. In terms of Anthony, can't say I watch a lot of Bournemouth games. Um Played 38 games in 2021-22, got eight goals and seven assists. Um, then sort of this season, he's played one um, played one K, uh, game in a cup for 121 minutes. Um, no goal or assist there. 
apparently played well though. Um, looks to be an all right player, bit of a dribbler. Um, yeah, it, it, uh, other than that, I can't really say I've seen much of him, so I don't want to, you know, guess. Um, but my main concern with if, if we're going to get him, go get him, then don't drag our feet. Um, because the window is closing very tightly. Um, we also have the news that Nottingham Forest. By, by the end of this window, I will be sick of hearing their names. Nottingham Forest have made an approach to sign Michael Keane on loan from Everton. This comes from uh, Peter O'Rourke by a footy insider, 24 7. Um, Keane has no use, I don't think, at Everton as much anymore. I mean, we have lost Godfrey, so maybe you could argue we do need depth because Mean is about as reliable um, and as useful as a chocolate teapot at the minute, unfortunately. I honestly think we are, we are close to never seeing Michael Keane play for Everton again. Um, Nottingham Forest interested in him. They look they are looking to buy everyone and anyone out this window. Um, a loan deal, I'm not too keen on that. I'd like some money for Michael Keane, but who's going to pay us money for him, I suppose? Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that, but I can't see him going. Uh, Peter O'Rourke also announced that Celtic Vigo have made a an offer for Blackburn Rovers forward and Everton target Ben Derriton Diaz. Um, they'll have to stump up the same amount of money that we're apparently being having to stump up, which is 15 20 million. I'm hoping Diaz would prefer a move to the Premier League. Um, but Everton have got to be quick about this. If you want him, go get him. Don't drag our feet. For Christ's sake, you know, it's it's frustrating. Paul spoke on the channel the other day. Um, I think the video's out now. It was the one on Delhi Alley. Um, we sort of got off on a tangent about this, this window. We've not had Calvert-Lewin for a while now. We knew we wouldn't have Calvert-Lewin for a while now. It wasn't like it was done, you know, yesterday. We knew this for a while and we knew his recovery would take a while. Um, we'd obviously have money because we wouldn't be turning down 50 million and pushing our luck for Anthony Gordon if we didn't have money. Um, so I'm not believing all the, uh, you know, I think we struggled at first. But we've got the Richarlison money, and it, you don't turn down fifty million for Anthony Gordon if you if you're struggling for cash. Um, so I'm not believing that we're absolutely skinned. Why are we leaving it to the last week of the window where most players have gone now? Most ideal targets have already been picked up by following teams. Um, every team that is selling now know that you want to you want a striker, for instance, and they're going to push for the bid. Uh, push the bid up more and more because you know you'll pay it. It just and you're gonna make silly mistakes because you're just panicking to get it done. It's really, really annoying and frustrating to see um how slow we are to react to everything here. Um, so yeah, it, it just and if we're gonna get you know rid of Gordon, Diaz is a good replacement, but go get him quickly. Stop dragging your feet. You know, stop. I don't know what they're doing. Just stop dragging your feet. Uh, it's really frustrating. Paul also shared. Same opinion. It, it's it's been beyond the joke, especially the Calvert Lewin thing. We know we won't have him for a while, and we've played four games now. I think it is without a striker. That's like what? It's, that's sixteen. Um, eight twelve. That's twenty points. Uh, eight sixteen twenty four. Sorry, that's twenty four points. Um, that's so annoying. Um, but yeah, um, it's so um. Sorry, that's 12 points. That's 12 points we've missed out on. Um, four threes are 12, Connor. Four threes are 12. Um, yeah, that's 12 points that we've missed out on, though, which is huge. I'm not saying we would have won all of them. I'm not saying we could definitely beat Chelsea, but there were chances where you looked at it and thought striker should put them away. Villa, again, you could argue that. And Forest, again, you could argue it. Not saying we do win all three of them, but if we did, that's 12 points. That's a massive, later on in the season, that's massive. Um, so, yeah, we just need to get it sorted as soon as possible. Um, we also have news that Niels uh, Nkunku is set to go to Cardiff on loan tomorrow after signing a new contract with Everton. That's come by Paddy Boylan, the Athletic. Nice to see Niels get a new contract, good player. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he's cut out for Everton, and I don't think I don't know if he's cut out for the first team, um, which would argue why we're giving him a new contract. Um but uh, it's good that he's getting some game time. I really do like him. I just hope he doesn't become a broadhead um, where we're sending him out on loan every year. Um, and finally, we have the Bamin. He's set to complete a move to Trabzonspor in Turkey. Um, 
there's not much to say about uh, his his Everton career. Although he was there longer, was he's probably about as um, flickering as Deli Ali's in terms of like that out like a flash. Not much to say about him. Um, cursed, really. I saw a, saw someone say the other day he was exactly what Everton needed. Um, and then yeah, just cursed, wasn't he? Um, so. Yeah, but off to Turkey. Um, so we wish him all the best, obviously, as as, as I wish Ali Ali all the best. Uh, I hope Ali can rekindle some of his form. Uh, and I hope Jabamin can as well. But yeah, both of them players going to Turkey. Both of them have a mere brief cameo in the uh, in the world that is Everton. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on anything I've spoken about. Neil Moy Pie, are you happy or you're not happy? Anthony Gordon, which would you prefer, Gallagher or Brozier? That's one for you to debate about. Um, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.